Hi guys, welcome to Tuesday. This week's theme is stories. So I have got a list of stories that are both funny and embarrassing. Okay, let's get started. This is a story that I don't exactly remember happening, like, but I've been told the story by my parents so many times that it's just, for the most part, I have most of the details. So we're just gonna go by what I remember. So when I was, I think, around three years old, we were visiting some friends because they were having like a dinner party and there was this lady there and I, I guess I thought she looked like a gorilla. So me being three-year-old me, I decided to go up to her and tell her that she looked like a gorilla. She didn't hear me the first time. She was like, what? And then I went, I took like a step closer and I was like, you look like a gorilla. And like my parents got really embarrassed and they were like shushing me and stuff. Uh, and then like afterwards when those people left, like the lady and her, her husband, we were just with like the hosts and apparently the guy was just like, you know what, she wasn't wrong. The lady did look like a gorilla. So that's me. I embarrassed my parents, but luckily the woman didn't hear me. So I, I mean, I was three in my defense. I, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. The next thing happened when I was 16. This was like a few months after I had heard of a band called Paradise Fears and started listening to them. And this was like February 29th, so it was last year on Leap Day. Um, and my sister was like, get on Skype, I want you to meet my friends, blah blah blah. And like, me being me, I was just like, okay, if I have to meet your friends, I don't care what I look like. Like, I could look disgusting and not give a flying fuck. I had like just gotten done with the workout, I hadn't brushed my hair, I hadn't put any makeup on, and all the makeup that I had, had on was like smeared and all over the place. And I get a call from her on Skype, so I answer the call. And instead of her being there, it's Michael and Sam from Paradise Tears. And I was like, like I literally started dying and freaking out. And my mom knew the entire time, and my sister knew, and my mom didn't even think to tell me to shower or look decent. Thanks, mom. Paradise Tears saw me looking at that shit. So that was fun, but that was an interesting experience. Next story was last year in September. I had like gotten up to go get some water from the kitchen, and I was turning the corner, and there was like a cabinet here. And I was like walking and like my foot just like slammed against the cabinet and I broke my little toe. That is the first and only bone I've ever broken. And it was from walking into a cabinet and that's pretty, pretty embarrassing. I mean, I blame my sister because she got my mom those cabinets, so it's her fault, not mine. This is probably one of my favorite stories to tell. I don't know why I just did that, but I mean, it's a fun story. This past February, my mom took me to London so I could see all time low on Valentine's Day and then I ended up seeing them the day after as well. One of my favorite YouTubers, Patty Walters, was going to be at the Valentine's Day show and like I tweeted him about it and then uh, while I was in London I couldn't have my Danish phone on so I didn't have like constant Twitter access and stuff and um, during the show my sister texted me and she was like, Patty just tweeted you asking me where you are and I was like, what? So then I got on Twitter and I like checked me and tweeted me and then basically like I was communicating with him through her. I was texting her and she was tweeting him and then he was tweeting her and she was texting me. Basically we were in the same venue but we were going through Boston to like be in contact and that was very interesting. Um, so we ended up like meeting up in the lobby during All Time Low's encore and like I'm a huge All Time Low fan and I will never leave their show for anyone. So I mean that's a pretty big deal and I was really excited. Basically like I was waiting in the lobby because he was downstairs by the other merch table and like I was just staring at my phone and like I look up one second and like he's just walking at me and I was like nope nope done nope mm -mm, mm -mm, no 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 nope so done with life goodbye I was like this far away from the wall and I ended up backing myself into the wall to the point where I couldn't go anywhere but down I stupidly didn't think to go down so I made a fool of myself right there that was good times but then we had a really nice chat and we took selfies. The story is much longer than that and I've done like an entire Tumblr post about it and I'll link that down below. But yeah, basically I made a fool of myself. I'm not normally that stupid. Sorry. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and remember to check out the rest of the videos this week and remember to subscribe and I will see you guys next week. Bye!